All right, you guys, today we check out how to dress up your logos with effects here in ChatGPT. And we're gonna take a look at some beginner level prompts versus more advanced level prompts. Now I did test ChatGPT a little bit more. And to be honest, I'm not impressed because it's generating just one image per time. And it's just generating so freaking slow compared to Adobe Firefly, which is generating super fast in a couple of seconds. And it's generating like four versions at the same time. All right, so let's go to ChatGPT and all you need to do is just drag and drop the logo you want. And then here you can type in the prompt. And first I'm gonna try it out, a Chrome effect. So I'm gonna go with, turn the logo into liquid Chrome, make it polished and add glare, add black background as well. And let's hit generate. And let's wait a couple of minutes. Now it became kind of liquid and smooth. So I'm gonna go with a different prompt this time. I'm gonna copy paste this one and I'm gonna remove liquid. Let's see. So it seems like it did the same thing again and I'm thinking to refresh the page or start a new page and I'm gonna do it again. All right, so after waiting a couple of minutes, we got some pretty good results. All right, so I'm gonna try to improve this a little bit more and I'm gonna go here to the prompt and I'm gonna try to modify it and I'm gonna go with change background with blue sky and lots of clouds. All right, so it did generate in one minute and 18 seconds. That's quite a lot. I mean, the result is pretty decent. I mean, it's a slop, but it's AI. All right, so let's try out something else. I'm gonna drop the logo again, and I'm gonna try to make glass out of it. So here we're gonna go with a simple one, a logo made of glass material. Generate. All right, so it's done. I also forgot to mention to remove the background. So I'm gonna test it real quick that way. Gotta copy paste the prompt and add black background. So now here we got the glass. So let's try to make this a little bit better. I'm gonna go with 3D logo made of refracted glass material floating on the black background. The logo is illuminated from the back with spotlight. All right, so it seems like it combined the clouds as like another Chrome effect. So what I'm gonna do is just open up a new chat GPT page and I'm gonna start this again, copy paste the prompts. So finally did the job. We got the correct results and actually looks good. So I'm gonna try to customize this one more time and I'm gonna go with 3D logo made of prism glass. Let's see what we're gonna get. And then we got this colorful weird stuff. So instead of that, I'm gonna drop the logo again and just copy paste the full new prompt and do it that way. All right, so it seems like we got some great results. Look at that. This looks like a diamond. All right, so we're gonna try one more prompt because my brain is cooked already from this. I'm gonna go with a logo made of orange plastic material, make it puffy and place it on a light gray background. And fingers crossed. All right, so this came out nice from the first go. It, it just made the liquid plastic material from it. So we're gonna need to improve this a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with a new prompt, logo made of orange padded, puffy and polished material with smooth surface. Add bigger size wrinkles and place it on a light gray background. And let's hit generate, fingers crossed. So it seems like this thing is broken because like I'm waiting here for a couple of minutes now, it's not doing anything. So I decided to open up a new chat GPT and add the same prompt and finally we got the results. So basically this is how I pushed through all the trial and errors here on chat GPT to create some logo effects. I already had enough of this because I spent too much time on this crap. So pretty much that's it for today and thanks for watching.